Hey, what's up? This is Joe. I'm going to show you today how to replace uh, an accelerator pedal position sensor or accelerator pedal on your 2015 Hyundai Sonata. This should also work for the 2017 and 2018 as well from what I've gathered online. So uh, basically it's a pretty simple repair. Um, by the way, uh, you can probably find a factory original part uh, for the same price or probably less than you can uh, an aftermarket part. I found some aftermarket ones that were like over $300. I got mine for well under $200. So uh, just look online. If you have to have it the same day, because you can't drive, you're going to have to find a local dealer that has got one. Luckily, I live in Atlanta, and I found one at my uh, one of the dealerships in Atlanta. So if you're in Atlanta, check out uh, Thornton Road uh, Hyundai. Uh, they had it in stock. They might have one in stock when you need yours. So... Um, so basically it's it's pretty simple to replace you basically have a bolt on the bottom and you have a bolt on the side all you really need for this is the first thing you're going to need is a screwdriver flathead little small just to pop up the um the covers that are on the um pedal uh, that are holding the bolts in and then you need a 10 millimeter socket okay so that's all you need is a 10 millimeter socket and that and it's a real simple uh replacement and somebody's going to you, if you call some places, they're going to tell you, oh, you can't do it yourself. It's got to be reprogrammed when you put it in there. That's what one place told me. I called a couple other places. They said, no, man, that's not true. The, program, the computer's going to recognize it. Only time you might have to reprogram it is, is if you replace your uh, onboard computer, which we're not going to do. We're going to make this real simple, real easy. Man, this is so simple. It's probably uh, easier than changing your air filter almost. Well, maybe not that easy, but it's pretty simple. So I'm going to get down here. I'm going to show you how to do it. Check this out. All right, I'm down here. So what's the first thing you want to do? Whoop, not drop your phone, but you want to um, go down here. There's a uh, cover right there at the bottom. Right there, you just pop that up like that. All right, that, that one comes off. The one up there, that one you got to pop off like that. I don't know if you can see it because I got the phone facing the opposite way. So basically, you just get in there, pop that one up, pops it open, okay? And then what you do is you grab your socket, which I left over here. Socket branch, right? So I'm going to go down to this one first. Doesn't matter really. So, um, man, if I could get that angle on there, you can see it. So basically you got that. Okay, get that, that bottom one. Un, un, undo that one. That one come out pretty easy. The top one's a little bit tighter uh, because it's got a piece of metal around where it's going down to the bottom. So basically you do the same thing with that. If you can see that. That one you might need to unscrew a little bit more with the thing. So but I'm going to do this. light over here so you can see more of what's going on ah, I can't get that light in there man there we go that's good so we're gonna take this one off down here all right and we're gonna take that top one off a minute All right, bottom bolt's done. Top bolt's a little tighter. Oh, and that light goes off. We're gonna put that back on there. So that top bolt's a little bit tighter. I take a minute to get out. Yep, and then you gotta kind of slide it. Actually, you gotta get that all the way out first. Okay, got that. You gotta slide it right there. Then you got the connector up at the top, which you just gotta undo, which is, I forget how I got that off there, man. There's a little connector right there on the side. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use this video, but I hope so. There we go. Pop that top part and then 
the slides right off. So there's the old one right there. Okay. So that's the part I had on mine. Um, I'll give you the real part though, part number. So this basically now what I'm doing is I'm taking this one, the new one, and I'm putting this in there. Reverse it. All right. First thing you want to do is get that connector connected. Basically just put it back on the way you took it off. Just slide it on there. And then just reverse it. First thing you want to do is slide that in there so that those connectors are at the bottom and easy to put in there. Right there. Got those in there. All right. Connect that bottom one. Where is that other bolt? I don't even know what that other bolt went to, man. Oh, the other bolt's in the thing still. So you gotta go back to that one and take the bolt out. So we'll do this first. We'll tighten this one up first. That time. Okay. Get that other one out of the other one. that one take it tighten that one in there that seems to be a little looser easier to get in all right all right and then the final twist we're gonna Put the socket wrench on there. Um, actually, we gotta get the socket off of that one first. And the socket wrench. Tighten it up. And then we got that one up there. All of that's tightened up good. You don't want to do it too tight and strip them. Pop that one down. Put, oh, pop that one back down. Put that one back on there like so. And we, this one goes the other way. That's interesting. No, actually that's the same way. All right, cool. So that's it. So now I'm going to take my stuff. I'm going to get up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up. And my check engine light has already been cleared, so I won't have that. But if this is installed properly, it'll start up. There should be no check engine codes from it. So I'm going to put all my stuff back in here. I'm going to grab my keys. I think. i got them on me somewhere. It was raining, so uh, it was a little bit more wet. Hang on, let me find my key. All right, man, I got it all started up. I got no um, no codes on my dash. Everything looks good. Um, so it's pretty simple to uh, replace that. It's, um, it's an easy part to get. Um, you might have to wait a day or two if you're in an area. It's not like a big, uh, big city or an area that's got a lot of uh, dealerships in the metro area. But it's uh, one of the simplest things I've had to do on my car, man, as far as, like, replacements. I mean... It doesn't take a long time. I mean, look how long it took the video to me to do the video. It could probably take you about half that time if you're not trying to explain to somebody else how to do it. So uh, ask any questions down below.